Guys, we have been getting so many awesome releases here lately, and there are still more to come. This FMS right here, the FCX 18, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. It's been teased for a good while, along with the 10th scale. We've all seen it here and there, shown off all the crazy nonsense, but we finally got it in hand. It's time to check this thing out. So this is very similar to the original. We got red and white. Again, I always get the red and white. Um, very good looking truck though. Right away, you know, this body is just a favorite of mine. This truck right here is one of my favorite shelf queens. I've never even drove this truck. It's actually got a little cobweb there. But uh, this is a fair RC mod of the original version of this truck. And then you can see they took this and put it on the FCX platform. So a couple things to talk about here as far as the differences between these trucks real quick before I just go out and run this. And this is why I'm kind of calling this just the high trail version, the more performance based version of this truck. You're losing a few scale details in my opinion, like you now we have the tinted windshield, which you guys know, uh, it drives me nuts, but it is what it is. They've took the interior out. So we don't get that interior. I kind of hate that about it. I liked the interior in this. I thought it was a very good scale looking truck, but it didn't perform real well. Uh, you know, you were sitting low here and this being a longer wheelbase, it was hung up all the time for me. Not this one. I had the original just like this color way. I did drive it a decent amount and it just was always getting high centered. So we have a lot of clearance here. Sort of like the high trail, like I said, with the portal axles, obviously we gain a little clearance. With the portal axles, we also gain a little steering angle. So between the two, you can tell we get quite a bit more steering there. And we haven't even made the mod yet of moving the screw. So if you watch this channel a lot with the FCX, you know you can move that screw right there to the back side and your link won't bottom out on it. Kind of surprised they haven't started doing that from the factory yet. It changes nothing. It's already tapped in the back. It, it works very well. Uh, we do get the nice strong steering link on there, so we're not going to be um, bending that. You guys know if you had the early FCXs, you could just do that, and they would just <laughs> fold. So that's a nice upgrade. And then the electronics overall, the servo is better i've had servos die in this style truck not this one in particular and the electronics in here i do like the layout as far as the battery is in the front and much easier to get to now you can tell it does hold a larger pack we now have a 900 mile pack that comes in this but it's up towards the front with our esc back here and the on off switch very easy to get to very nice clean setup Whereas these, sometimes it was a little bit tougher to get your battery back in here. And then you had your ESC just exposed out here. And this on off switch always just dangles everywhere. So I really like that setup better. And then by standing our shocks up with this chassis, we now have to cut the bed out. So maybe we can put some scale accessories in there to sort of hide that. I think overall we are going to get a better performance out of this. We're just losing some of the scale touches. So you guys let me know what you think about that. Here you'll see the slow crawl is pretty good on these. I mean, not bad. They're loud. You've got that fax machine sound going. This is not a ton better, but it is a little better. And I would say a better overall crawl and then we also have our high gear so we've got a lot more wheel speed for trailing that's one thing these were slow and you have one speed and that's it so um transmitters we've seen this one a million times i need to flip this switch i believe so we have forward reverse because out of the box it had forward brake reverse so dip switch number one controls that um usually pretty good by just switching that one switch and then we've got all of our steering trims throttle trims steering dual rate throttle dual rate steering reverse throttle reverse so uh all of that's the same 
our shifting for our transmission, low gear, a neutral basically, and a high. And then our lights are on the channel four. Whereas before we had this and you just had to flip this to B mode and hit this for the lights. So, um, you know, it's kind of a toss up. This is not a bad transmitter. Fits in the hand, fine. These are pretty compact, so pretty nice to have. So for the truck and chassis, basically they've made the FCX 24 transmission fit in here. So we do have the two speed, like I said. We've got metal links down here. This is a four link setup with technically like a three link wishbone type deal up here, but it's four link, they call them. We do have a servo on axle now. So that's another scale detail lost for you scale guys, I know. Whereas this one was chassis mounted servo with the pan hard bar, but you can tell. These shocks are much nicer. It's gonna drive a lot better with those oil filled shocks versus the bobblehead effect on that. So a lot of uh, good touches to this. Tailgate still comes down just like it used to. I would kind of like to see them just put like a ball hitch on here. I mean, for me, I'm never gonna run a hitch on it. So I would just like to see a little ball on there like the old trucks had instead of the uh, restyle um, hitch, but it is what it is. So um, I think it came with a hitch. Yeah, so we have a hitch in the package here. It's just one of these very simple like plastic ones that screws in. We got a pretty decent looking charger there and some license plate stickers and a few other things. Wheel wrench, pretty well set up. It does come with the manual. And I like that FMS still gives us our old school type manual with exploded views. You know, a lot of them now just want you to scan something with your phone and look it up. They're still giving us the printed manual, which is, is nice at times, you know. So um, part numbers are easy to find. You can just Google that part number and usually you can find parts very easily. Fair RC always has a lot of parts for these trucks as well. So. So I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I've been so hyped over the new FMS 10th scale truck that I really had kind of been putting off running this. I wanted to check it out because I do love the original version of this truck, but I never really enjoyed driving it much. I loved the look of it. But for me, I'm one of those people who go out and crawl over things like this. And this is very rough stuff for a truck this size. And the original truck, the original version of this had no chance at going through anything like this. Like absolutely zero chance going through this. But you can see this truck handles it well. So it really did remind me of that high trail experience I just got with the Traxxas. If you watch my video on that. Where you can have a good looking truck. But have it kind of jacked up and go out and really enjoy being able, able to crawl over some, some big stuff like this. And... Being a longer wheelbase, it did well on inclines. I uh, didn't get crazy with it because it was like a super wet, nasty day. It's been raining a lot <laughs> the last couple of days, and I actually just kind of went out in the rain a little bit and was just, I was driving it no matter what. I had to get out with it. So I ended up really enjoying my experience out with it. The tires being wet, they're pretty slick. But they actually did better than I thought they would, to be honest. Uh, they didn't do great, but they were way better than I expected. So I think they're pretty good for a stock tire. Obviously, they're not going to do any real serious crawling. But it was very wet, nasty, mossy, slick conditions out here. And they did okay. So uh, I was impressed with that. The two-speed in this makes... A lot of things more possible the portals and just sitting higher it really does make this a much more capable truck and for me just a more enjoyable experience overall 
because like I said, I'm one of those type that I like a body. I want it to look kind of good, but I want it to perform. You know, I'm not real big on the comp style trucks. I mean, I have several, but I usually prefer a body on there and I, I like for it to look good. Um, and this does both of those well, obviously. And it performs pretty good. So if you're one of those, it's like me, you're kind of in the middle. Having every little single scale detail is not totally necessary to me, you know. Uh, having the nice looking mirrors and trim and bumpers and that sort of thing, it all looks really good. But I want some performance in there as well. And I think this truck is really going to fit that. I do see me definitely changing the wheels and tires the tires just they're like i said they surprised me but they're still not good um for this type of crawling they're just more of a street tire looking tire on here they don't have a lot of meat to them so i think if we put some nice meaty tires on this with it being kind of jacked up it's going to look good i do wish the windows and windshield was clear but i can live with that uh, luckily nothing broke none of the mirrors anything like that it took some falls it actually got submerged i dropped it in the creek and everything ran fine i drove it through some pretty nasty deep water nothing quit um, as far as i know this thing's not waterproof but i definitely submerged everything in it and it was fine so pretty tough little truck and like i said this stuff right here i wouldn't even attempt this with the original version of this truck so it's definitely a much better performing truck. Oh. Here you can see just how slick it is. And for these being more of a street style tire, I thought they did okay. I really didn't think it would even get up this. So I was happy when it did. I do think the servo is really good in this. You know, having the beefed up steering link, we're not losing any of that steering. And um, it held up fine. It never let me down. You know, I, it's not like I'm taking this thing and putting it in crazy binds, but I never noticed um, steering being an issue. The gearing felt great. I mean, it's just like running the FCX, basically. The low is super smooth, and then you have high gear when you need it. I did flip um, switch on the fly a few times while I was getting it throttle. I'd just go from low to high. That way I didn't have to worry about any kind of rollback, and it handled that fine. This does have the metal portal gears in it, but unfortunately the ring and pinion there in the axle and the transmission are still plastic. So definitely the ring and pinion eventually will have to be replaced. Those things have a bad habit of stripping out. But besides that, everything is strong. And I mean, I didn't strip anything out on this one. Um, while running it, it, it held up good and I, I put it through it. Um, so just a fun truck to drive all around. And I'm really glad I got to check this one out because like I said, Originally, I wasn't all that hyped on it. I mean, I thought it was cool, but with the 10th scale dropping and a lot of other things have been coming in here lately, I was just like, okay, I'll get to that at some point. But I, when I got out and started driving it, I was actually like, hey, this could be a lot of fun, especially with some better tires. So um, I definitely need to figure out my wheel and tire combination for this truck and take it out again. So um, you guys let me know what you think about it. I think it... it it's definitely a much better performer. We've got that FCX platform now, so we've got brass and all those upgrades available for the axles and stuff. Um, so I think we're gonna see some really capable scale rigs, I guess. Um, but you guys let me know what you think about it. I think these trucks are beautiful and I'm glad to see that they got a little added performance to them now. So. Let me know what you think about it. Do you like the more scale detail or do you like a little bit of uh, more performance here? I appreciate you guys watching. I'll link everything in the description and I appreciate you guys using those links. It helps out the channel. It lets FMS know, that, hey, people are watching this channel. We need to get him these trucks to test. Thanks to them for sending this over to test and um, got a lot of stuff coming up, guys. I appreciate you. Peace.